Uh, obviously, everybody is aware at this point that this is going to be a big and powerful storm. And all across the eastern seaboard, I think everybody is taking the appropriate preparations. Uh, I've spoken to all the governors in all these states. Uh, they have issued emergency declarations. Uh, those have been turned around quickly uh, here in the White House. Uh, we have pre-positioned assets so that uh, FEMA personnel are working closely with state and local governments. Uh, we're making sure that food and water and emergency generation uh, is available for those communities that are going to be hardest hit. We anticipate that uh, the center of the storm is going to hit landfall uh, sometime this evening. Uh, but because of the nature of this storm, we are certain that this is going to be a slow-moving process through a wide swath of the country, and millions of people are going to be affected. So the most important message that I have for the public right now is please listen to what your state and local officials are saying. Uh, when they tell you to evacuate, you need to evacuate. Do not delay. Uh, don't pause. Don't question uh, the instructions that are being given because uh, this is a serious storm and it could uh, potentially have fatal consequences if people haven't act, uh, acted quickly. I am not worried at this point about the impact on the election. I'm worried about the impact on families, and I'm worried about the impact uh, on our first responders. Uh, I'm worried about the impact of our, on our economy and on transportation. Uh, you know, the, the election will uh, take care of itself next week. Right now, our number one priority is to make sure that uh, we are saving lives, that our search and rescue teams are going to be in place that people are going to get the food, the water, the shelter that they need in case of emergency, uh, and that uh, we respond as quickly as possible to get uh, the economy back on track.